Oh, yeah, they always got your back. Uh, well, let's get into it. Uh, we don't want to bombard you with questions, obviously. And there's oh, obviously no, I mean, anything's fair game, Blake. Anything's fair what, game. What do you want to, what do you want to talk about? Respawn search? Like, honestly, like, we had a lot of, a lot of talks after, or, like, just now after the match. Um, I think what you guys were saying on the, the couch before was, like, pretty warranted. Like, it, it's, to me, like, looking from out, outside perspective and Damon, it's, it's a confidence thing at, at, at first. Um, and it all, all kind of stems from that. Um, but, like, the one thing I do want to say is I don't want to hear anything about, like, anyone being content with this or complacency or whatever. Like, I feel like we're working as hard or if not harder than before the major to try and get this back on track. Because, like, obviously, no one's in a situation where we're, like, trying to not do well. Like, we are trying our hardest to, like... And actively improve this. That obviously. was already one of my questions, but just have you guys been playing more or less since the major? And dude, sometimes overplaying is a thing. Like chat was saying, and they were like kind of spot on, but they were like, yo, go take a team vacation, which obviously you can't do right now, but sometimes a little break from the game can go yeah. a long way. Do you think it's like not an overplaying thing, but do you think like, I don't know, just talk to me about how much you guys have been practicing. I mean, we've been practicing just, I mean, the, the same amount, but more more so, like, contingent on some, like, some more VOD stuff. Mm -hmm. So maybe I guess you could say, like, an overwatching thing could be possibly a thing. Overwatching is if definitely it, a thing. Yeah, like, because I've, I've seen that in the previous teams that I've had before, too, where it's like, you know, people keep bringing up mistakes in VOD, and it's like, okay, is now this person, like... They don't want to make a play because they don't want to make mistakes because they don't want to be called because they out watched the VOD. the VOD and they took it but too like, serious. At, at a certain point, we all have to be content with each other to improving what we want to do. Because at a certain point, I mean, you guys have both been there where it's like, you know, you're not doing too well in, in scrims. But like, I wouldn't even say even. I mean, I would say maybe like the week before we weren't like as as ourselves in scrims. But this past week was like honestly like a pretty decent scrim week for us. Go, so going into that Boston match, that was kind of surprising for us that like we didn't do well and kind of reverted back. Um, we were all surprised when we lost to Boston. But you guys yeah. know in, in, in practice, like if, if you want to get something done in terms of like actually improving one certain aspect, whether it's, you know, refilling this or flowing this way, like you're going to keep hammering that in oh, until 100%. it gets fixed. Right, and then if it doesn't get fixed, like obviously that's a problem. And having that recognition of like, can you do that in the match? Are you going to keep doing it in scrims? Is something that like all teams are going through. Yeah, and I I feel like towards the back and to just towards the end of the year. I mean, Zen, I'm just going to shoot another question off if you're please. I mean, uh, honestly, how much this one's like more so for him to just oh go ahead yeah yeah you know, like I don't have a question. To, I'm saying like go ahead, but like I feel like what you're saying is very relatable as like a former oh, yeah. player and yeah. it's like I think anybody saying the boys are complacent and not practicing enough like bro yeah like the complacency the like know? oh we should drop this person you know like this person needs to get replaced like dude we literally just won the major that's the biggest thing for us where it's like we know we have the potential oh we've been we've been shutting that's chat the, down that's the hardest part for us as like a whole team because it's yeah. like everyone's on the same page like we know we have the potential if we like get past this get past this like this little bump that we have mm -hmm. you know First is our ceiling. Like, we literally won the last tournament. So it's, can we play like we did on that Sunday with that confidence that we did against Toronto in the major finals every single time we, you know, match up against anyone, you know? And, yeah, we were we were kind of talking a little bit about how, like, a moment can change a team's whole dynamic. And it fe I feel like watching the last major, that moment was on the invasion search against FaZe. It was like, after that, after yeah. that Brandon clutch where they f scammed, and then you go into the, the, the final against Toronto, and it was like, Nothing like you guys. I was talking to Annie. He's like, we just knew we were gonna win exactly. at that point. Yeah, and yeah. sometimes that's all it takes is that one little thing to to push you over the hump. But I gotta ask. Um, obviously, the patch comes out. This this major, this whole major online qualifier has been on a new patch. MCW gets buffed. Trophies get reworked. So now teams are running three trophies in respawns, two in search. Right. Yeah. Uh, how do, do you put any of the the weight? Or of the blame onto that because now the game's a little cheesier. No, you get zapped I mean, a little more with I the mean, AR. I guess it is a little cheesier. Like the MCW is, is for sure like more OP, but you know that's not an excuse for how we're playing. Like yeah. obviously, all of us know like what we could be doing better. We've talked about it. 
Like we even talked about like our search woes and changing some stuff going into the major because we know obviously that's a problem. And like what you guys were saying, like there's, they were way too good to be not doing creative things in other areas or, you know, if we're playing info spots, actually like being able to communicate off of that info, figure out what we want to do with that info, you know, we all have good ideas and that's the, the the thing is like we we scrim we have these good ideas but if we revert back to habits and matches then like who, and that's, who cares you know that's always hard like you you go over in scrims but once the match comes around you add a little bit of pressure into the mix who knows how it's gonna pan out and yeah. i completely agree with what you're saying like i mean today we went through like three or four clips of the search and destroy just on six star oh yeah day. i was watching the back the retakes with the smokes on both both sites i mean yeah and he's like just ready I, for that. I know these guys and they know each other it's like we are way too good to not being more creative than relying on ant smoke to have us retake a site ant smokes goes in one weighs it on the tip of it gets a kill gets like yeah it's but we're, like i dude i trust these guys because they have these good ideas it's it's can we react off that info effectively? And can we actually, like, if we have an idea, communicate it. Like, if you are a P3 and you have the most info on the guy coming up, be on Six Dark, like, inside the pool, like, either you have to be making the, that, that call or someone else has to be making that call. And then we, we have to be working together on that. Yeah. And it's like, everyone realizes that, but we got to, like, actually put it together. And I have full faith, like, with them. That, Easier. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's a confidence thing. Like I said, you get one... It, what it reminds me of is uh, last year uh, when we picked up Dan, Major 3. We, we got 3 0 by Boston, got sent to loser bracket. We went, had to go to Game 5 versus London, but inside that Game 5 was that Mercado where we came back like 100 points down. Oh, my gosh. So you, you get one confidence win off the bat like that, and can, you're soaring through the loser bracket. Yeah. So that's, that's what we're, we're looking to do right here because obviously like we didn't play enough or well, well enough in like the online matches. We all know that. We're all trying to work on that, obviously. Uh, but we're like those are the cards we're dealt. We have to start in loser bracket, so we're gonna make work with what we have. Sure, that's what it comes down to. I mean, it just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying this is happening, but like, of course, there's compounding pressure, loss after loss, no matter what team you're on, but especially when you're under the the microscope of, of being an optic player. So it's like, yeah. I think the team in search plays very like reactionary right now instead of proactive, and I'm not yeah. sure if this is true, but like. I'm sure, or maybe, like, the individual confidence to go make a play, it's like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go get blooded, or I don't want to go misstep or, on the map. And then that, like, that, just that second of overthinking changes the entire, like, flow of the map. Or, yeah, or even, like, giving some teams too much respect in that case. Like, that's something that we've talked about before, too, But and, and something, like, Damon's been talking about a lot, but it's, like, or, or I think it was Ken, Ken or Damon. Um, but it, it becomes a problem when we fall into a trap of doing something but when when that's done against us it's it's countered completely so it's like we we are allowing them to do things that we aren't ourselves able to do yeah and you, you know that's obviously an issue and you know that's something we need to work on because it's like I've, sometimes we're just giving teams too much respect of like oh we're not going to go a here because they might have trophies here but it's like Okay, but we were talking about trophies, that earlier. We don't necessarily need to do that, right? yeah. Like so, yeah. I do. The thing is, like, I have full confidence. Like everyone has full confidence that we can just bounce back from this. But we just we have to like do it. Do it. It just yeah, has exactly. to happen. It's not like like I, I I do agree. Like I feel like overwatching and like sort of overthinking is kind of like the worst possible. It's so hard to escape because like, I mean, as a player, you want to get wins. You want to fix the issues. So you're trying to figure out what's wrong. Yeah. It can actually be, I guess, a little counterintuitive to really nitpick. Because once you start nitpicking, then people start hesitating their personal plays, which then impacts the full team. Mm. But, I mean, you made a good point. Like, last last year's match against London, that one map, like, every player knows that's all it takes. Well, 100%. One map can transform an entire team and, and change an entire tournament just based on, like, one scenario. It's actually crazy how it works. Dude, it's God like, is crazy. It's so hard to explain. It's like this mental shift, and everybody starts trusting each other more. It's just like... It's genuinely crazy, but obviously we're all hoping that the boys go out there and, and do the thing, right? Uh, the first round matchup is that matchup to go out there and win it. And then we've seen losers bracket wins before, right? Just start compounding those wins and that confidence. So and Yeah, it's, it's honestly like turning everything into what we think it can be. Because like we know we have that potential. All the players know we have that potential. It's just actually like 
doing it in the moment. Yeah, and I mean, we know you guys have the potential too, which is why I sit here all day and I'm like, I still got hope that they can go to the major and and make a run. It's yeah, it's been done before. Uh, you know, you like you said, you get one good win under your belt and it can can really catapult you. Uh, how's the team's overall morale? I mean, are the vibes low? Are they, or is it more so just focusing? They're on- probably low. I mean, they they were. I w- I'll be honest. Like they were pretty low after the Boston match. But like going today, today like we knew we were starting loser bracket. It's like just just go out, just go out there, do your best. And everyone going into land, like obviously, like I I hate putting on on online, but at, no one likes online. No. And going to land is a new, fresh perspective where it's like, all right, let's just let's just go in loser bracket and become the Grim Reapers down there. You know, like having a different mindset of like, okay, these are the cards we're dealt here. Like this is the ones we dealt for ourselves. But let's you know. They want to make champs? All right, let's knock them off. You know, like, we, we have to play these guys. They beat us online. All right, let's knock them off at land. So Damn. You, have to, you have to shift your mindset in that sense. So, yeah. Sure. I mean, and I feel like you kind of hit every nail on the head because, I mean, I, I personally don't have any more questions beyond that because I do think— I got plenty of questions. I think it all stems from confidence, so then you, you go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, uh, how much of the struggles in search do you think it comes from— so obviously when you win a major, everyone, you got a target on your back now. Everyone's hyper fixating on your gameplay. They're watching your VOD. Yeah. Do you think teams are over analyzing the VOD now and that's why it's catching us off? Like, do you think we've adapted the play style from the major? Because again, we played Invasion three times on Sunday at the major. Yeah, yeah. And that was kind of just our bread and butter. We won two game fives and then game two in the final. Uh, do you think teams have went and just reshaped their game to counter our game now after the win? I mean, probably like after you win all eyes are on you like that's gonna go for every tournament but the thing is like we we started playing these other maps because obviously invasion was getting vetoed versus us in a lot of these every matches. series so right? like we were playing more karachis and stuff but it's like w- we have to stick to the stuff that was helping us win in the first place and if we deviate from that that's when it when things might go wrong yeah um and obviously like adapting to the new map like we we play karachi and we had not played karachi for the entire stage because it just kept getting vetoed versa so yep. when we played karachi i guess it was versus uh vegas it was the first time we played it since ordinance gloves versus new york in a match yeah someone said today that toronto had ordinance on i i couldn't tell i don't, no, I don't know I, if they I, did. I probably i doubt it so yeah, there's no but way regardless like so we had to start playing these other maps and the thing is like i don't even think what I was saying before in terms of what we were trying to do and what fixes we're trying to implement or going to implement are kind of map dependent. I think they're more like just game mode, just overall feel development, kind of like what you were saying with the confidence thing. It's like that confidence thing translates to all game modes. It's yeah. not even just and that's like why I a said, search thing or a hard point thing. I was like, all right, now I'm getting a little worried because, I mean, we lose the sub base today to Toronto. It's our best map and mode. We lose the high rise. We got, we got hoed on high rise. I mean, you could talk about oh, the, the propane, propane all day but, long. Like, the thing is, like, yeah, sure, the propane explodes, we die off of it, but, like, there were parts of that map where we could have flowed to the point better. Or, like... Oh, yeah, there's it, always there's things, things you can other things do that you can, like, you can nitpick, but, again, yeah. Like, when has the propane ever gone our way? I swear it's, like, one to seven oh, dude. on the it other was, side, you know? It's, but. like, it's like it's starting to become, like, we saw FaZe get absolutely demolished by it they double team killed then Cell got team kill penaltyed and he couldn't respawn for 15 seconds yeah. and then today we see us lose the map basically lose not lose the map because of it but it played a big part I mean we had them in like a god spot yeah we had two on point Pred was their right windows they got to play for him it's not an excuse we just got unlucky <laughs> um but yeah it's we don't want that that confidence to bleed into the HP because again I feel like at the major, we were probably one of the best HP teams there. Yeah. And then control as well. I mean, we've been we've been so so in control, I would say. Yeah. Um, but we just don't want it to bleed into the other modes. No, hundred uh, percent. The, the thing thing I really want to get down is like for anyone that's like worried or like is like, oh, we should drop this person or oh, like they're not working. Like everyone is on the same page of like we need to fix this. Obviously, it's an issue. Like yeah. you can't just chalk it up to online. Like we know we have to be better. So. so Another one for you. We're going to Major 4. Uh, no fans. How do you think that's going to affect the team? Because, I mean, we saw the the, the, the videos of the, the comms and just the overall feel of the team on stage, and they were loving it. Do you yeah. think that'll be an issue, or do you think it'll be a non-issue for the team? Uh, I, I mean, 
I always think the fans are on our side because we're the like, green wall strong. But I, I don't think it'll be that big. Like, I think the thing that, that's going to happen is is they're going to have to generate their own hype. So you're not going to be able to rely on fans in that small venue. Yeah. You're going to have to generate their own hype from your own plays and your own comms. So yep. uh, we're just going to have to build it like that, just naturally from your own comms because there's it's going to be pretty quiet. Oh, it's going to be arena. crickets inside yeah. of the venue. Uh, Zen, you got any other questions? I really don't, and it's not because like you're I'm good. blanking. It's generally because... I mean, as a former player, I truly do think it's completely a confidence thing. So I feel like you can like nitpick so many different aspects and say, why is this player playing like that? This guy's yeah. playing slow in this play. But it truly is an overall team morale and confidence thing. And that's why like I don't really have anything else. It's just because like I, I know it takes one map just to get back to a, at least a, a decent enough point to where we're not losing to teams like Boston. Yeah, I have yeah, one, exactly. more, one more question. It's kind of federal. Not, not really, but... Uh, when you look at like obviously your scrim records like in HP control, you keep you keep the the book of yo we've won this map this many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Have has there been a dip in like the scrim win percentages or and it's like the the matches are like just a complete surprise. I'll be honest. Uh, so I was saying before, but I don't know how federal this is, but like this last week was actually like a really like it was like a good week like before major what was it major three yeah. Basically the same uh, as that. The week before that was a little bit, it took a dip, but that was because like we had just came off those two losses and now we were like, okay, we got to fix what's going on over here. And now it's um, like crunch time too. And cause... now it's crunch time. But like, honestly, going into this weekend, I was pretty confident we were going to go back um, to what it was like before. So it was unfortunate that we, we reverted back, but that's just, you know, now we have to just go to, go to land and, and show up. Sure. I, I do have one question, and you might not be able to answer it, and it, it is federal, so please, if you don't, you don't have to answer it. Yeah. Are you scrimming against the same teams, or are cert, like... We're scrimming every team, regardless of gotcha. ability. Okay, we're, we're scrimming top teams, we're scrimming bottom teams, mid teams, every Okay, everyone. perfect. Awesome. Well, JP, thanks for coming on. I think you came in hot. Like, you hit... I had, like, three or four questions. That I'm glad you did. In your first, like, monologue, you kind of really? hit and touched all of them. Oh, I mean, right. yeah. A lot of it's based around like just search, you know, confidence, all that stuff. So, thank you for coming on. Can we get a W spam for JP for coming yeah. on? Thank you. Uh, I hey, appreciate you guys for. I mean, for obviously, me it, not it's, easy to come face the heat. Yeah. No, I mean, I felt like it was it was needed for someone to at least like talk about it. Like well, we we've all been talking about it in the back here, so it's like you guys you guys haven't had like some type of public facing thing, but just to like for you guys like we're working on it. We know the the problem. It's not like we're complacent with one win. You know. Major four is still here. Champs is still here. So, um, yes, sir. Obviously, it's a dip, but you know we just got to build that up uh, next major. Thank you for coming on, man. Seriously, thank, yeah, thank you. you. Appreciate you. Hey, appreciate it. That bull, Thanks, JP.